and we're learning more details about a person caught on camera stealing a, a full tip jar from a local business. This happened Friday at number one barbecue and burger in Dell City right off Sooner Road and Main Street. News 4's Amaya Ward talked with the owner and the waiter who was earning those tips. Yeah, she joins us in studio with their message to the person who walked off with the money. Amaya. Dylan and Andrea, the owners say it was a typical Friday rush during lunch hour. They say the thief walked right in and stole, the stole from the only server working. It's a foolish thing to do. I mean, it's not worth it. Bang Bowie is the owner of number one barbecue and burger in Dell City. On Friday, his cameras caught a sticky fingered person who he believes to be a delivery driver stealing the tip jar off the counter. He came to pick up the food and then he just left without picking up the food. The man was seen quickly glancing around the restaurant before grabbing the jar nearly filled with money and hides it under his clothes. But if you're uh, short of money, something like that, then don't, don't be just stealing other people's money, other people's hard work. The owners say they've been open for nearly a year and every tip is meaningful to their business and employees. It's a little bit rough. It's tough, especially nowadays. The money was supposed to be for their only server working. He's a hard worker. He every day here from open to close. That worker is Bryce Cotani. Bryce says he was saving up money for his son's upcoming fourth birthday. I was upset in a sense, you know, he, he stole from my kid. Stole, stole money for me to get him presents or his party or just everything. He says although he was upset, he is remaining optimistic. You got to keep putting the foot in front of the other foot. You know, if I worry about too much of the past or too much in the future, then you know, I'm forgetting about today. The owner says they've actually had people come in and donate without even placing an order. They're also hoping whoever took the money will just give it back. 